Okay, so we have this uh, Netgear X6 uh, R8000 and uh, we're going to install something on it. I used to have DDWRT on it, but the only problem with that is that it's extremely complex to use. It's just, yeah, it, it's absolutely user hateful and not user friendly at all <laughs> so i returned it back to normal or stock firmware right now just for this video and uh, i have another one r6700 i think is the other one netgear again it has the open wrt and it's a little bit more user friendly than DDWRT, but uh it's uh, nah nah i really don't have uh Time for science classes every time I want to check something on my router. Now, the features are extremely rich. That's just... Yeah, there, there is nothing compared to DDWRT. For a router, if you are a little bit technically inclined and you know what you're doing or you're willing to learn, absolutely, if you go with DDWRT, you have access to everything that a router can offer. Hands down. But this time, we're going to go with uh, some fresh tomatoes. Yes, that's, uh, we're going to make some sauce. So what we're going to do here, well, first you have to go to freshtomato.org. That's how it is. It's right here. And when you're here, I'll drop a link to this. But first thing you have to uh, go, let's say you are at the downloads already here, right? And then you find your router. We have R8000. You have two versions, all-in-one, and you have VPN. Now, all-in-one is a little bit more extended. You have way more uh, options and all that stuff. I really don't need all of that. All I need is the VPN version. Now, this router is the ARM version. So, we're, we're right here. I have the ARM version. That's what is here. Click it and download it. I already have it downloaded. And uh, when you need more than uh, that, then when you're at the parent directory, I'll leave a link for this one, initial files, because what happens is that you need to flash the initial file first. Then we flash the main tomato. I hope that's clear. And we have it here on the initial files, uh, R8000, ARM7, and you just click and download this one too. After these two files are downloaded, make sure your router is connected to your PC first. So we're getting ahead somewhere here too. Uh, there's only one thing to keep in mind. These routers are notorious for getting bricked. And there have been times that uh, they get bricked beyond return. And the only way to get back is actually by buying some kind of USB device that connects directly into the motherboard inside after you open it to return it back to normal. So if you can't handle to lose it, maybe it's not a good time to do what I'm doing here. Just, just to be clear, let's be clear with everything here. Now, Let's arrange the folders here. We have Netgear. This is where I have the downloaded files right here. And uh, in here, I have the files that are to be extracted. So let's start with uh, initial file right here. Copy. And I'm just going to paste it here. And then I'm going to extract it here. Okay, 7-zip. Extract here. And it should give us the CHK file. That's what we really need. You have the README here that tells you kind of some things. And uh, we don't need that right now anyway. When you're on the site, keep in mind to download this part. That gives you the initial password, admin, and new dig. I don't know why that is, but that's just how it works. And then let's go to our router right here. We go to advanced and enter our... Oh, so this is so petty. I'm already signed in and it wants to sign me in again. Ah, okay. Anyway, <coughs> and after you wrestle with Netgear to get access to your own <laughs> router, <laughs> uh, you have to go to router update. But before that, let me show you why I'm doing all this VPN, literally VPN. And, well, and the updates, of course, because the R8000 no longer gets updates re regularly. Look at here. Seriously, look at this. Does it look like something that defeats the purpose of a VPN? The only thing here you have as a server, not as a client, meaning it lets you 
set up config files <laughs> for your phone or non windows or windows so the idea here is that you install this file or the vpn file for example on your phone and uh, let's say you go to china and now you go to china with your phone and you jump in to your computer with this vpn showing the world that this is my isp and this is my real ip at home <laughs> it makes zero sense the vpn is mostly to shield you from anything it's not just to change location it's to conceal your real ip to conceal your real isp your real home but no according to netgear and some uh, linksys they think it's a great idea to use your home network as your vpn so when you go to starbucks while sipping on the latte somebody that's very advanced on networking can see where you actually live great so you don't need to tell them but they don't give you an option for a client where you can put your ovpn file let's say whether you have express or nordvpn or surfshark or whatever so actually your devices at home are shielded and they're not really pinging home to hong kong but they are seeing only the vpn nah nah you can't have none of that according to netgear this is the right thing to do <laughs> whoever made that decision seriously should not see the office doors again it's okay let them go make coffees make good stuff they're not for this job anyway let's go uh, get rid of netgear's uh, stupidity here so we have to update or upgrade in this case whatever you want to call that and uh let's go to browse and browse opera just likes to do those movies and here's the file we need to flash first open and we hit upload all existing connections will be terminated yes we are aware of that it will take about two minutes so now if this is successful we will continue to next step but if this bricks the uh router well 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 i will no longer have an r8000 router but don't worry i this is not my main router anyway i'm just uh doing this to show you what's possible if it works and or to show you if it doesn't work if it breaks the router don't do it <laughs> but seriously there's a chance which is non-zero that it will break your router especially if you don't flash the uh initial check file that i'm doing right now Ooh, you increase your chances really drastically of breaking it and it's no joke I bricked the router before it was a I think it was an R6000 or something like that I think it was a few years ago I tried to flash uh, open WRT for some reason and I don't know it, I did something wrong I'm blaming myself here boom you're gone the router I, d I didn't really bother buying uh you know the, the the usb and all that stuff to connect it because it's it really you just jump on craigslist and uh if you don't get scammed or mugged you can get a router for ten dollars it's you know to play with because these are all the routers i just wanted to try this one fresh tomato for some reason i did not uh think of fresh tomato and what made me think of fresh tomato was uh asus is i was uh flashing an asus with uh, wrt merlin and as you know merlin is not a replacement for wrt for ddwrt or open wrt at all it's more like a extra layer on top of the base firmware if that makes sense so kind of the the, the user interface is the sa similar so you, you you get used to it and it's easier to use versus open wrt or ddwrt and uh yeah in the beginning when i was testing these things years ago i really messed up so many times using ddwrt literally i disabled some of the ethernet ports or LAN ports on my router and I had to reset and reflash that router pff, probably four or five times I don't know how, how else to say it and the router is restarted right now but yeah it's 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 a very real thing <laughs> redoing this okay well I think I have to wait for it to start anyway but yeah okay we'll be back when uh, the router restarts okay so after it's all said and done 
if everything went right. In my case, for example, I hit a few hiccups. The router restarted and I waited a few minutes and all that. And when I went to 192.168.1.1, the problem was that it was not loading it at all. And I had to actually do a reset, holding the uh, pinhole button next to the power cord for 30 seconds. I held it for 35 seconds, but then it restarted again. Then I had a problem entering the credentials. <laughs> but in this case, somehow the credentials were the uh, username was root, R-O-O-T, and the password was admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then it let me get in right here. Well, in this case now, after you are right here, if you made it, you need to do the rest of the stuff now. And in here, we're going to choose file after we go to administration. Because usually I think you'll land here on overview. And we need to go to administration, uh, upgrade. And here we have to choose file. And now at this time, we have to prepare really quick the uh as we see we have these and we have this this is the startup file now we are done with this one and i'm gonna connect the uh, copy the uh vpn file that i did or the trx will be in a second uh, just for ease of use i'm going to extract it right here and then you have the trx file that's our file that we're going to flash on our uh, router right now. And we're going to choose this file, go to files again, and we have the TRX file right here. We're going to hit open and uh, we're going to hit upgrade. That's uh, all we can do. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. And uh, yeah, I almost thought I bricked it. I mean, not that it's a big deal, this. If it breaks, it breaks. What am I gonna do, cry about it? That's why I'm using a router that I don't really care that much about. But besides that, we have to wait and see if it works. As I said in the beginning, if you can't afford to lose it, don't use it. <laughs> it's very easy. And uh, in my case, this is just a router that's been sleeping in one of the drawers for a while now and i decided oh, okay let me let me let me put some uh, squeezed fresh tomatoes there maybe we might do some marinara sauce and we're gonna wait for this timer to get down to the bottom and now uh, let's get down to business okay please wait till the, while the router reboots i think it rebooted boom just like that now we go in and uh change who oh, that username and password <laughs> please <laughs> yes wow that was suffering to actually uh find it and i'm just gonna put some username and password real quick to make sure i do not forget that mine i'm just gonna put username r8000 because i have many routers that i play with and i want to make sure when i'm jumping into one of them i know which one that's why. And the password will be up to you. And I'm going to save it. Okay, now we're going to enter the new ones. One second. It's going to redo the tomato thing. Boom. Just like that. I'm going to save it just so I can have it. And it will inject those settings to the router itself. Now we are good. We can change a lot of things here, but I'm not even going to attempt any of that. All I want to do here is VPN client. That's all I care. Well, you have WireGuard actually too. That's up to you, but uh, you can start it. I'm not connected to any internet right now, but I'm going to do OpenVPN client and we can do three clients right now. I'm going to do tunnel. I'm going to do UDP. And the next one probably is going to be a TCP. And that's, uh, that's it. And of course, next thing is to go here. Uh, when you're at network, uh, just change your uh, Wi-Fi passwords. You want to do however you want to do WPA2 and all that. I'm going to do WPA2 uh, personal and uh, just uh, put a key here. And some services are being started. That's it. And the rest, you can uh, configure USB support for whatever you need it, FTP servers. There is a lot to do here. And this is the basic version, not the VPN version. <laughs> Imagine that. Yes, you have ad blocks too. 
Adblock DNS filtering. Boom. You have a lot of things, by the way, here. A lot. You can put new uh, ad block controls. And by the way, I'm going to save this before I forget. So it uh, max log level. I'm going to do three error. That's fine. Uh, bandwidth. You have real time bandwidth. There is nothing going on because I only have this computer connected to it. So it shouldn't be that much. And you have web usage, which we are not going to enable, but you can monitor. If you want to, uh, you have tools, you have ping, wireless survey, QR codes for Wi-Fi. Woo! VPN is the, of course, you can do it as a server if you want to, which I'm not going to. Or you can do it as a client because that's the only thing I am interested in. Besides that, that's uh, all we can talk here. It's really that easy. So with that said... This was successful, and uh, I hope you learned something, I guess, at this point. And we'll see you next time for further tinkering inside the Fresh Tomato when you're R8000. Well, you can refer to Fresh Tomato uh, forums and all that, because I don't want to give you information that I might have it wrong myself. And I'd rather just not give you information further anymore. I just wanted to show you how to install this and that's it. And uh, with that said, we'll see you next time. Bye.